Hi, and welcome to another uh, open cart screencast. Uh, this is Brian Gregg from Resurgence Web Design. Uh, today, I just want to talk a little bit about um, the uh, latest version of open cart, open cart 2.0. And um, I haven't had a lot of time to look at it, but um, I did get a chance to uh, play around a little bit with the uh, customization and uh, creating some um, some different styles. And um, but one thing I have to say is what an improvement over uh, the last iteration of OpenCart uh, 1.5 uh, in terms of the styling. So um, here is uh, a basic template that I've been working on here. So uh, if you do a fresh install of OpenCart 2, you're going to see something that uh, looks quite similar to this. Uh, I made a couple of little tweaks, but um, overall kept it pretty much the same. Uh, and one thing that is really cool, um, which I wasn't uh, quite expecting, uh, if you take a look at some of the classes here, uh, you'll notice that they're actually using Bootstrap for um, the grid layout. And um, if you're not familiar with Bootstrap, um, there's some great uh, documentation over at getbootstrap.com. Um, you can take a look at the CSS page. You can learn a little bit about the grid system that they have in place. Um, and uh, what's great about it is uh, it's fully responsive. Uh, and they have uh, different classes for uh, different size windows based on media queries. Uh, that are going to take up the appropriate amount of space and they're going to resize as you uh, change the size of your browser. So if you're looking at this on a mobile, uh, it's going to look much better than uh, what we had with the absolute positioning in the uh, old version of OpenCart. So just so you can take a gander at what that looks like. Let's just scroll down here. You'll notice that as the screen gets smaller, your um, your different your, your different grid systems uh, show up. So uh, this way, if you're looking at this on something like a phone or a tablet that has a very uh, small width, you're not going to have to scroll left and right to be able to see everything. So kudos to uh, the guys over at OpenCart for implementing this. This is uh, fantastic. So just to give you an example, um, uh, this right here is going to look a little bit different because I was playing around with this some. Um, but this is uh, another thing that I think is just wonderful about uh, the new version OpenCart 2 and what you can do. So the fact that they have this grid system in place and they're no longer using all of that absolute positioning, it's going to be really easy for us to style uh, different elements on the page. So take a look here at this um, uh, this window here with the thumbnail image and all of the contents. See we have this div class product thumb. Uh, if we go over, I'm playing around here with a uh, custom template that I created. Yeah, what's going on here? So here's the style sheet that I was working with. Um, really, you know, we can go ahead and make changes to this very simply. Look at that. We just, uh, let's change that to black and look at how easy that was to style um, you know a big difference over the older 1.5 version of OpenCart um, where when you changed stylings you had all kinds of different overlays and uh, negative margins and uh, this is just very simple very straightforward uh, you know, one line of code and, and look what we were able to do. Uh, over here too, I was playing around with the menu and 
you know, we could just kind of change the float from left to right and, you know, kind of bounce those navigation back and forth. And uh, over here, we were just playing around, just playing around with some background colors. And um, if you are familiar with Bootstrap, uh, you're also going to be familiar with a lot of the classes that they're using here. Um, you know, they're using, uh, you know, the, the, the button classes, caption classes, uh, call LG4, call MD4, call SM6. So, you know, this should look really, really familiar to anybody who's, um, you know, familiarized themselves with these frameworks. Uh, so that's about it for today. I just wanted to give a quick overview of um, some of the changes in uh, OpenCart 2. I'm going to be taking a little bit more of a look into that this week and uh, hopefully come back with a more comprehensive um, screencast. Um, but this should give you a little something to play around with here. Uh, I know I'm going to be uh, enjoying uh, familiarizing myself with these um, uh, these new capabilities, and, you know, I would definitely recommend you doing the same. All right, thanks again. This is, uh, again, Brian from uh, Resurgence Web Design. Uh, you can get me on uh, Twitter, at Ignore Intuition. Um, also, uh, get me on my uh, website, uh, resurgencewebdesign.com. All right, thanks so much for tuning in.